Hey there, I'm Greg Finn from the Marketing O'Clock Podcast, and today we are going to talk about when you want to use maximize conversions or when you want to use maximize conversions with target CPA. Talk about some of the pros, the cons, and why you should probably be using both in your accounts. Even though the name sounds really similar, these two bidding types couldn't be more dissimilar. I guess they could be a little bit more dissimilar, but they operate very differently from each other. And we'll start with maximize conversions. This bidding type basically does exactly what its name says, right? It is going to go out and try to get you the most conversions for your budget. Something that will happen with this in all likelihood, assuming there's enough volume out there, You are probably going to spend your daily budget each and every day with this bid strategy type. Again, this is a literal definition of what it does. It is going to max out the most conversions that it thinks it can get from that daily budget. So to me, the biggest problem with maximized conversions is that it is not inherently scalable or efficient by nature, right? It's going to spend that budget and just bring back what it can. So if you have, let's say, maximized conversions campaign running at $100 a day, let's say that you see 10 conversions coming back in. When you move that spend to $200 a day, it doesn't mean that you're going to get 20 conversions. You might only get 15 conversions. It's going to take that budget you give it and just bring you back as many conversions as it can. So it doesn't scale necessarily with your budget, if that makes sense. Okay, and now on to maximize conversions with target CPA. This used to just be called target CPA, so that's what I'm going to call it from here on out. Target CPA, here on forward, means maximize conversions with target CPA. And the job of this bid strategy is to shoot to a target. We want to input what we'd like to pay for a conversion, and then Google Ads will go out and try to hit that number. It doesn't mean that it always will hit. Sometimes it does hit that mark. Sometimes it doesn't hit that mark and you pay regardless. So with this bid type, unlike maximize conversions, you may spend your full daily budget if Google can find that efficiency that you put in. Uh, You also might not spend your daily budget. It's dependent on the volume, the ads, landing pages, all that stuff and what you move, set your target at. So if you have a very aggressive target that you want to be very efficient with, Google might not spend a lot of that money because it just knows that it can't hit it. It's not going to be able to get to that target. But if you have something more conservative or more in line with what the account's been seeing, Google will likely spend, again, according to the volume and all those other metrics I talked about earlier. The biggest benefit of target CPA is that it is made to scale, right? We are shooting at that target and it doesn't matter if our daily budget is $100 or $200 or $2,000 or $20,000. We're still going towards that target. So in the previous example, we moved our daily budget from $100, getting 10 conversions to $20. In this case, we would hope that it would bring in 20 conversions. So the same exact efficiency that we can scale. When we move budget up, we are still getting the same results on a cost per acquisition or cost per conversion basis. So the biggest question is, when should you use these different bidding strategies? And I look at these like a tool, right? They can be used successfully or unsuccessfully, the right way, the wrong way. None of them are inherently bad or good, and you're probably going to take away the fact that you should be using both of these bid strategies in your accounts. So here are some different ways that we at Cypress North here swap between maximize conversions and target CPA. So maximize conversions. This is a great bid type when you are starting a new campaign especially if your account already has conversion data in it and you're rolling out a new campaign, you want to get it off to a hot start. That's what Maximize Conversions does. So many times we will use a lower budget or a very low budget from what we want to spend and gradually work that up as we get more conversions. If you have your budget set too high, again, you're not going to be efficient like we talked about on that first example. So 
it'll go out, it'll get things going, get things rolling, get you that conversion data faster into your campaign that you set up. The only thing to remember is that at some point you're going to lose efficiency when you move your daily budget up. It's just going to happen. Maximize conversions is not built to scale. Another way that we use maximize conversions in our account is if a campaign for some reason unexpectedly stops performing the way that we want it to with Target CPA. Uh, sometimes you just need to jumpstart accounts. You need to try different things. You could do an experiment. Just know that half of your daily budget will be used towards Target CPA and only half will be used towards maximize conversions. But many times that'll get things going and rolling again. If you don't have these signals that Google thinks it can get conversions and it stops spending, many times we'll take a kind of break from Target CPA and go back to maximize conversions, get things rolling in, and then try to get back to Target CPA. So we're shooting towards that goal. And when should you use Target CPA? To me, I like to get most of my accounts towards Target CPA or another target like Target Return on Ad Spend. But in this case, we're just talking about conversions. So if you are looking to hit a specific number, you're gonna get much more predictable results with Target CPA than you will with maximized conversions, especially if you have budget fluctuations. So when you are trying to get that exact return, Target CPA is your go-to. That's, again, you are going towards that target. Whether or not Google hits it, that's a totally different story. You need some modifications. We can make another video in the future about how to get the most out of Target CPA. So if you start your campaigns with maximized conversions, you'll be able to find roughly what Google thinks it can do. And many times, if you have enough conversion data, when you go to set up a, ca a campaign or turn it to target CPA, Google will give you an estimate for you, which can be a huge help. It's a number that Google thinks it might be able to hit. So a lot of times we'll start with that and then work our way to be a little bit more efficient and try to get, again, the lowest possible cost for conversions with the highest possible volume, right? That sort of efficient frontier of volume and efficiency, right? That's efficient frontier. I like this the most because it can scale, right? All of a sudden your client gives you and it doubles your budget for a certain month. If you double that maximized conversion value, it is not going to scale, but you can safely and effectively double your target CPA campaigns and it is still going straight at that mark that we set. So with these campaigns, there's no right or wrong way. You can see how it works for you. I love seeding campaigns with maximized conversion value, getting those conversions rolling in the account, uh, again, with a low budget, and then switching to target CPA, opening that budget up, and really trying to get things to scale for sort of the long run. So that's it, more to come on the ins and outs of the bidding strategy, so please subscribe. And if you like this video, you will love Marketing O'Clock. It's our weekly podcast with video that covers everything you need to know each and every week in the digital marketing space. You can find it right here on YouTube. Subscribe, 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 or your favorite podcast player. And if you're still having issues, if you still have questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to us at Cypress North. Literally, this is what I do every day and can definitely help you with your campaign needs. Good luck out there.